Okay, the power in the method is in doing what we call, um, let me get the pen here, comparative statics. What comparative statics asks is changes in the optimum due to parameter change, due to change in P or change in W. Let's do it with respect to P first. So let's begin with our first order condition, P F prime of L star minus W equals zero. And let's assume for a second that L star actually is a function of P. Um, and let's say if it were an explicit function, we would know to do the following. P F prime of L star of P minus W equals zero. So I can now differentiate this equation with respect to P. And when I do that, I get first times the derivative of the second, P F double prime of L star of P d l star d p. So if l star is a differentiable function of p, we have that, plus the second times the derivative of the first. The second is just f prime of l star of p. And that would equal zero. In fact, what I'm going to do is go to the previous equation and write this with three bars across, not just two. When you write three bars across, that means this is identically equal to zero for all values of P. Since this is true for all values of P, the equation below it also follows. We can then solve for dl star dp. Um, let me actually do that uh, in the next screen. I'm going to copy over this equation and then do it in the next screen. So let's shift this. We had PF double prime. That's, excuse me, um, I got a triple prime there. Let's make it a double prime. PF double prime of L star of P DL star DP plus F prime of L star of P equals zero. That's what we had. So I'm going to bring this term over to the other side and get P F double prime of L star of P D L star D P equals minus F prime of L star of P. Okay. To solve for the L star D P we have to know that this thing is not zero, then we can divide by it. It is not zero if the second order sufficient conditions hold, and then we get the L star dp, this is the comparative statics result, equals minus f prime of L star, I left out a parenthesis here, f star of L star of p over p f double prime of L star of P. Now here's the key thing. We actually don't care too much about the magnitude of this result, but we care about the sign. F prime is positive at the optimum. More labor input, more output, so minus it is negative. F double prime is negative by the second order condition, so you have a negative over a negative. That's a positive. That's the result. As you raise the product price, the optimal labor input goes up.